today's lesson two, I want us to discuss about monthly, uh, monthly analysis, the pairs that you have to be looking out for this month of October. So we'll be doing monthly analysis. And the reason why we are doing monthly analysis is because we're in a new month. And I would want to share uh, the, every new month, there are pairs that I look. And there are some pairs that I will not be looking at, and I will tell you the reason why. So this month, we'll be looking at, for me, I'm interested with Euro CHF. I'm interested, you can even, you can take a screenshot. I'm interested with Euro CHF, GBP card, NSD card, NSD USD, GBP USD, GBP JPY, and GBP NSD. So the reason why I have picked GBP JPY and GBP NSD they are pairs that I will look weekly because they are highlighted with blue. But the five, the first five pairs are the pairs that I'll be looking every day. The reason is that on the monthly uh, chart, these pairs, they have given me a confirmation. So I won't be trading. There are pairs that I will be avoiding completely and I'll be telling you in a different video. And there are pairs that are just they are 50-50, you can look at them and they're just 50-50, but they are pairs that you are not supposed to avoid. So in this video lesson two, I think we should do Euro CHF because already Euro CHF has given us an entry. So we'll start from monthly analysis. Every time you want to do a very good analysis and the pairs to trade this month of October, I want to show you how do you come, how. What made me put Euro CHF as a pair for this month? So what, what I come to realize is that you can see that this, this market is, um, it has been, it has, it's like a ranging market. Let me say it's a ranging market. Can you see this is a ranging market? So this market since 2014 and now we are 2023, it has been in one zone. And we can see also we have that small ranging since, um, so we cannot say if it is an uptrend or downtrend, like it's not clear what trend this market is. Um, this is last year, July, 2022. Uh, and if at all you might say this is a downtrend, yeah, you can say it's a downtrend uh, because of this, the market came out from 2018, it has been dropping, but from last year, the market went up and then dropped. So it is confusing. It's like a ranging market. So the minute you have a ranging market, unless that, unless you find a break or you find a, a pattern. And I told you, remember, I have kept saying, you need to work with two patterns. You really need to work with two patterns. So the pattern, the first pattern that I'm seeing the first pattern that I'm seeing is this double bottom. Imagine getting a double bottom on the monthly time frame. That is good. So I'm getting this double bottom on the monthly time frame. And then I have the neckline. That's my neckline. And then I will measure my half. So that's my half. So my half, it is at 0 0.9747 and the half, I'll make it green. So you have, if you have been here, you know how we analyze double bottom. You have to have your double bottom and then your neckline and then you measure your half. So we have that double bottom and then now you measure your neckline. You can even, you can pause the video and open your CHA because these are current market. You can pause the video and analyze, we analyze together. So you should be following exactly what I'm doing. So once you've, the, the, the highest point from the first attempt. So what we what do you need to understand from the double bottom? You have your first attempt and second attempt. So how we mark our neckline is the price coming from the first attempt, the highest point and it's that neckline. And then our TP1 is this half. So you should be following around marking your own chart so that you can learn easily. So we have that double bottom and then we have our half. So our take profit one, this market has already given us um, WBB. For those who doesn't know, any, any time, uh, time frame from daily, weekly and monthly, we use WBB strategy. 
for double bottom and double top strategy. So the WBB means, the WBB means, I will write here for the new people in this channel, W equals weight, and then, and then BB equals break, and then uh, we have the other B equals weight, WBB weight box break. So we start with the box and then and then we break. So basically what the WBB means is that you have three entry signal. The first entry signal is the candle turns green. This is the green candle. And then number two, if you check, I'll do an, an, an updated video of WBB strategy. If you check the candle, if it is green, and then if it is, uh, you, number two is we check if it's bullish engulf. If not, that's when you're putting a box. So if this green candle had not engulfed, would have drawn that box. And that's what we say, the weight box break. The WBB means weight box break. But in this case, you're just uh, going with step two. The candle has broken, like it has not even broken. The candle has engulfed. You can see we have an engulfing. So the green candle has engulfed. So from even from monthly perspective, already you have been given a buy. And if at all you buy right now, as you're watching this video, you'll be having a hundred pips. Imagine a hundred free pips, guys. A hundred, a hundred free pips. So Euro CHF on the monthly, it is a buy. So if you continue on the weekly, even you can see this candle is a momentum candle. If we can even continue on the weekly time frame, you can see that we had a resistance. This is a very uh, it's a resistance zone. This area is a resistance zone, and you can see the market has broken resistance. You see, when whenever you want to know if buyers are strong, they have to break a resistance. Then breaking this resistance this is a resistance. This is a resistance. It's what we call current resistance break it has been broken. So that is giving us even more confirmation. And then when you go to daily, this is how daily looks like. So I know the confusion of many people when they are uh, checking Euro CHF. What they will see is this: um, they will see this this uh, double top, and they will tend to think, oh, because there's the double top, I will I will be looking for sell. Why? Because the candle has engulfed. Let me tell you. So many people will be looking for sell, and they think the market. Uh, can come up to this uh, half. Let's say they'll be looking for sell and say, ah, let me just enter because the market has given me this bearish uh, engulf candle. But you see, if you have not done your analysis from higher time frame, this double top is what is used for uh, for uh, a blind. You are blinded by this double top. You'll be blinded by this double top. Why? Because if we can check here, there's BWA, there's BWA, BWA has happened. And I like I've kept saying BWA is only for my students. So the, the fact that there's BWA and it has confirmed, it means this double top will not happen. Uh, another thing of this double top, if I can check, they, there's no RBS. If there's no RBS on this double top, again, I cannot be firm with this uh, double top. So there's no RBS, BW has confirmed meaning that this double top is very, very off. Like I cannot even think about it. So what if this double top is used to make a cup and handle? Guys, you already know any double top that fails to complete, a failed double top gives us a cup and handle. So anytime you find a double top, don't jump. Oh, the market has a double top, let me sell. Just ask yourself, what if, it can give me a cup and handle. And you see a cup and handle, it is supports by, why? Because the market, it will still go on, a, on an uptrend. So the only pattern that can support monthly, it's we get a cup and handle, you see, we get a cup and handle. So we would want that, that's the only thing. So I want you to mark the, the chart like this and come back to this video if it has already happened. Let me see. Let me hear your feedback. For me, I'm believing that this is a double, the double bottom on monthly, it is giving me a, a go ahead to buy, to think of buying Euro CHA for the whole month until we attain to the neckline. Until this market reaches here, I, I have no idea of, 
of thinking otherwise. I cannot sell this market and it's better I be out. It's better I be out. So it's either I support a cap and handle rather than what? Rather than me selling this double top. So for me, double top is, is not like, for me, double top, it's not, not a pattern that they can trap me. Why? Because my double top that has no RBS and it has done BWA, of course, it is telling me it is siding with a cup and handle. And guys, you know, the cup and handle will go the same distance and we have TP1 all the way to TP2. So if the market breaks here, so you see at the end of the day, someone who is under um waiting for this cup and handle, still they are late, why? Because as we are already in, because monthly is telling us to enter. So by the time the market is coming up to break, we're already having the money. So let's hope by tomorrow, the market will have uh, stabilized and will have gotten the money. And at the end of the day, hell, allow yourself to trade Euro CHF. And this is the only way you can learn. Don't fear if it goes against you. Even I don't know why some people, when you analyze and they come, oh, it didn't go the way you said, or it did the way you said. You see, this market, we only predict and react. We, we, nobody knows for sure what the market will do because my work is to take the patterns, how they are forming, and I react to them. So if it does not work, I will ask myself, why didn't it work? So thank you so much for uh, even watching. This is lesson two. I am willing to do up to 100 lessons. So the only thing you can do is to watch this video, share them, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, and just comment. Your comment means a lot. You have to comment. And yeah, so thank you so much, guys. See you in lesson three. Bye-bye. Love you.